I think he's the only enemy I hear right now. Let's definitely go ahead and heal up. It's gonna take my time. It's no use in rushing. Nobody's sneaking up over here. No, I think we're okay. Minecraft. Swords for everyone is my policy when I am caving and fighting monsters. It's time for more exploration and tactics. Space Bard, vanilla survival series where I cannot press the space bar to jump or swim. And in today's episode, we'll start out with a little montage of some caving that I was doing around the base. But then we're going to do some enchanting, including perhaps a sword for even me. Swords for everyone. And then we're going to do some really serious caving where I really kind of jump into some things and have some fun with some monsters. So let's go ahead and get started. While I've been breeding up my animals, I've gotten a little bit of extra experience. And so I've used it to put just some level one enchants on some basic tools and armor. Uh, but now I want to spend some time going downstairs. There's actually two intersecting ravines right down here that I've started to light up a little bit more. And I'm just gonna spend a few hours caving, kind of lighting all of this stuff up. And I'll just show you guys the highlights. And so, wish me luck. Uh, but basically to get an idea of what we got going on over here, I'll just give you a quick look. It used to be the case that the world border was right around here. Uh, and so this was as far as I could go. Uh, but now I can go into this ravine and it turns out it intersects like with an X with a ravine that's over here. And so I'm just kind of lighting them up from the top down. All right, skeleton, where are you at? There you are. Come get some. Wow, full chain mail. Did he drop anything? He did, he dropped some boots. Awesome, I have chain mail boots and I have no way to get out. Okay, the witch has seen me. Here she comes. Nice. Nice. And I got glass bottles. Woohoo! Oh, there's at least a small chance of a record right here. Let's see, can I get it? Nope, it's not gonna happen. Ah, oh, so close. Oh crap! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Alright, let's get somewhere a little bit safer again. That was a mistake. Alright, so there's a skeleton across the way here. I do have some arrows, right? Yeah, let's get the bow on the bar. Oops. There we go. I don't know why I never enchanted this bow. That was silly. Definitely should have an enchanted bow. But I guess we're down on this level now. So we'll light up more of this ravine. Oh boy. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Witches are quiet. Snuck up on me. Is there another one? How long am I poisoned for? A long time. Hey, you dropped a bow. Item repair. Do, 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 do. After a few hours of farming and also caving down in this ravine and every 10 minutes or so coming back up to tend to the farms, I am doing pretty well in terms of a lot of resources. Still haven't found any more diamonds yet, though. Uh, most of the places that I was going caving were above the diamond level. However, in terms of the farms, I am actually in good shape. Uh, we have a bunch of leather all of a sudden. Certainly enough that we can go ahead and make bookshelves to put around our enchanting table and finally get some good enchants going on. Uh, and so I thought we would start with that, but I am going to grab a bunch of leather as well as I've moved the sugar cane up here. Actually, I think I have paper in here as well. We'll get a bunch of sugar cane and I'm going to make enough books that we can make a full enchanting table and we will try our first level 30 enchant. Achievement get librarian. And I need a whole lot more wood to finish off these bookshelves. Something like that, maybe. Bada bing, a bada boom. 
I've got six bookshelves, yeah. I think I made just enough books to get 15 bookshelves, which is great. And I also went ahead and made, I did a little bit more flattening of the grassy area over here. I don't have in my little my little house, my little shack, I don't have kind of room for an enchanting table, uh, but I thought an enchanting table would go good here, actually. I just recently cleared this out and the grass hasn't even grown back. Um, but yeah, I think we'll set up up here and then do our first enchant. Here we go. The thing that I want the most would be Fortune 3, because that would be the most useful to help get me off the ground, although I wouldn't pa pass up Silk Touch. But let's see on a level 30 if we happen to be lucky enough. It's just showing efficiency four, and I fear just getting a good work pick to start things off. And so I think what I'm going to do, since I've got 31 levels, is I'll go ahead and spend one level on a shovel. Ooh, efficiency two. Fantastic. Uh, and then try the pick again. And so let's see the second time around. Efficiency three. Ooh, even worse. Um... Do, 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 do. Let me try a couple other random enchants on a couple other things. If I do some breeding, I can probably get at least one more level, and we'll see if we can get a good pick before we go do the next thing that I want to do. After a little bit of animal breeding, I'm up to 31 levels once again. And so let's spend one of them on an iron pick that I can just use for work pick stuff. And now for level three. Hey, fortune three. Great. Oops. <laughs> Except I don't have enough lapis. Let's go grab the lapis. And then we will have a Fortune 3 Diamond Pickaxe, which is terrific. Um, I really do like the new enchanting system that they have now with using the Lapis and allowing you to get a forecast of at least one of the things that is going to be uh, one of the enchants that you're going to get on the particular tool or item that you're enchanting. Um, I think it's way better than the totally random system. They've gone through many, many enchanting revisions uh, in this game, and I think the enchanting system is finally pretty good. Fortune 3. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4. Awesome. That is exactly the pick that I wanted. Uh, so that is a great pick for us for our first level 30 enchant. And now we're ready to move forward. And before I forget, we just got the Librarian Achievement for making bookshelves. And the next things would be Saddle and Diamonds, which if we take a look at the Achievements menu, Diamonds to you, throw diamonds at another player. Well, I need some diamonds to be able to do that. Librarian we just took. And the Saddle is the one, fly a pig off of a cliff, which means we would need to find a Saddle. And so what I would like to do to get towards both of those achievements is do some more serious caving away from my base and hope that we can find some diamonds underground and hope that we find a dungeon where we're going to find a saddle. And so I have a spot picked out where I would like to do some caving, uh, but the sun is about to go down, so I will see you guys in the morning over there. It's better to discover that you're not recording about three minutes into something rather than farther out. I just started going down into a cave here. So this is the spot that I want to do some caving. It's where we first saw horses. Uh, one of the horses is over here and I'm not sure where the other horses have run off to actually. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, but basically there's a cave system down here and I have brought lots of ladders because I would like to cave uh, a bit more seriously. Um, I quickly lit up just down here. It's a dead end right there and just started getting into here. And by more seriously, I mean basically all the caving I've done thus far in the series has been relatively tentative. Had a creeper explode in my face over here. Uh, by virtue of the fact that I can't do jumping. Uh, here's another creeper, speak of the devil. And yes, I want to try to move a bit more quickly. The sword has sharpness one and this one does too. I've got some efficiency picks. I didn't bring along the fortune pick because I don't know that we're going to get out of diamonds that quickly, but I have lots of ladders. Uh, I'm also not wearing pants. And so when I just realized that I didn't have the recording turned on, uh, I was just starting to tell you guys about that until I realized I couldn't tell. Whoa, hello. Oh, can we get a record? There is a small chance, at least, that we could get a record here. Crap. Oh, boy. Come on, hit him, hit him. Darn it. Oh, crap. Now I'm down here. Oh, boy, this is the danger. <laughs> this is what happens. Oh, and I need to eat my food. My food. I need to eat. 
the zombie has gotten lost all of a sudden. I've, I've mentioned this before. I think the map mob pathfinding is a little bit wonky here now in 1.8. It seems like mobs will somewhat frequently, even when they're nearby, kind of lose you for a moment. Um, all right. <laughs> I got distracted. I was trying to talk through some things. So I'm not wearing any pants. And so far, the only pants... Let's just, I guess, kind of continue heading down in this direction. The only pants that I've worn so far in this series were a pair of broken leather pants that were dropped by a zombie or a skeleton or something. And I was thinking it might be fun to also have a restriction. We have the restriction that I can't wear any helmets in this series as just one of my own ridiculous self-imposed restrictions to make things a little bit more difficult. Uh, but I was thinking that it might be fun. Okay, if the slabs are not going to slow me down at all, I don't mind spending a few of them over there. This is just going back up. So we'll try one of these other cave directions that's going downwards. It might be a fun restriction to say that I can only wear pants that were dropped by another mob. Uh, I can't kind of craft any of my own. I'm not sure how I'll feel about that. I'm not sure if people have opinions about that particular restriction. Oh man, is this cave going to go nowhere? I'll be very sad if this cave goes completely nowhere. So let me know what you think of that particular restriction in the comments. It does look like this cave goes nowhere, and so I think I'm just going to pick one of the lower points and dig uh, basically straight down, like a ladder down. I guess we'll just start down here and use this kind of strategy where we just kind of dig down like that. And we can always leave ladders on one side. I've noticed that when you're kind of like standing in the block, you can't place a ladder right there. <laughs> you can place when you're standing inside a ladder, a ladder behind you. I'm starting to hear lava, so I've switched from a ladder straight down to a typical staircase. Okay, we're already down to the redstone level. I didn't realize that. And hey, wow, okay, maybe I should have brought the fortune pick along. Maybe we'll have some good, good luck down here. Uh, but I believe I should be able to... Yeah, just put ladders along the staircase like this. Great. And I can climb all the way back up to wherever I'm going. All right, so I've got a way back out. Uh, we still have plenty of torches. I'm going to move more ladders down here. And I don't have the bow on the bar for some reason, so let's go ahead and correct that. In case we encounter any bad guys. Okay, this is pretty annoying going back down the ladder staircase. But what you going to do? And I will even go ahead, oops, and do this so we can put some ladders right here. All right, let's see what we can find down here. And for right now, we're just lighting caves up. Uh, we will come back and mine all this stuff out afterwards. Ho ho! I found my way into another cave system and look at this. Four diamonds right there. All right, definitely should have brought the fortune pick with me, but this is actually relatively near the entrance of where I came in, so this will be easy to find our way back to. So I won't worry about that. But let's see if we can find our way through some more interesting caves, because diamonds are but one of the things that I'm trying to find on this expedition. The other one, of course, being a dungeon. If I do that, will that cut off all the water down there? Yeah, all right, that's great. And then furthermore... I'll probably need some ladders here. How am I going to do this? Ooh. Could this be another ravine? At first glance, it looks like it. And where is the spider noise that I hear? And is that an enderman? I think that's an enderman. No, I'm seeing the stars at night through some kind of visual glitch. All right, there's going to be a spider falling on my head, no doubt. Oh man, that looks amazing though. Look, can you see the night sky over there? Obviously it's just like the ravine going out of render distance or something. Can't be out of render distance. What's going on over here? It's got to just be some kind of like chunky glitch. Um, I hope nothing falls on my head, but I just enjoyed looking at that for the brief moment that it was there. Okay, these chunks have kind of come back in. Are there ledges above me? There are ledges above me. So that is a danger. But this is a very narrow ravine. And I'm in an area that I really haven't been in before very much. And so not many of other caves are lit up around here. Which means we don't have too many mob spawns. And where's the spider sound? Ah, 
Aha, the spider must be in here. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow, he's got a uh, speed potion. That is unusual. Wow. Spiders since... Which version did they add that? Um, I want to say like 1.5... Uh, can spawn with random potion effects, just like uh, the undead mobs can spawn with armor and different things. And yes, but it's still, I find, very rare to end up ever seeing a spider with a potion effect. Uh, and so that was pretty cool. And it looks like we actually have a good cave system going on over here. I'm going to go ahead and eat a piece of food and very quickly check over here. I think this is just a dead end, but I want to peek around the corner. Yes, okay, so that's a dead end. Um, is my inventory full already? I can pick up the spider string if I do that. We are actually running a little low on torches, torches, torches! Brian needs a whole lot of torches. Hooray! Let's do that. Oops, too many. Is there anything else I want to throw out? Let's throw out... I don't have anything else I want to throw out. Cobblestone. I'm actually holding on to the string because I think that's all the string I have. I used... Okay. Can't jump, Brian. Let's try to keep your eye on the prize here. I used um, a couple pieces of string to make a fishing rod. Hello, creeper. It really does take the mobs a moment to notice you. I spent a couple pieces of string on a fishing rod, and then, oh boy. All right, so there's a thing up here where mobs might fall on my head, and here's a skeleton. Hey, buddy. And one on the tripwire up on the monument, and I think those are the only three pieces of string I have, amazingly enough, which also perhaps speaks to how tentative, hello, the caving was that I was doing beforehand before this particular caving mission, because I'd only managed to get three pieces of string. I probably only killed, like, two spiders ever. Okay, this is going very far up, and I'd prefer to stay down. And so, yeah, and I'm slowly... Okay, I can see that above me. We're going to leave that there, even though it's a minor risk, and continue down this tunnel over here, I think. I'm going to try to stay mostly low, um, because I would like to go after more diamonds and good resources if possible. Thank you, Creeper. Uh, I hear another skeleton. I think he might be up there. All right, I've got ladders for this purpose. I hear a zombie coming after me. <laughs> oh, interesting, and they can't climb the ladders or pathfind on the ladders, so they have to walk around. So in some sense, using the ladders during caving could be an advantage from that point of view. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be an advantage from that point of view that zombie... Okay, there's a skeleton as well. Um, that the uh, zombies might kind of pathfind in a different direction than I'm taking. Um, this is going to be a problem. Let's run over here. Let's get everybody in front of me. I have a bow and arrow, and I do have some arrows, and so I should actually be using... Oh, crap, here comes a witch. Okay, now is a good time to... And it is power one now. Previously, I'd forgotten, neglected... Ooh, hey, we got a first health potion. Holy crap. Um, look at that. Super rare drop from a witch. That is awesome. Oh, and there's a gold helmet on the thing over here. I can't wear this gold helmet. And so is it really any use to me? I think I will leave it on the ground, just because one of my rules is I cannot wear helmets in the series. Oh my goodness. This cave system is very holy. And I don't mean that in a religious sense. Um... Yes, many, many holes. Oh boy, we could find some good resources down here, though. But yeah, with my inventory filling up, let's actually do this. This is something that I like to do, and I think I've mentioned in a previous episode. Um, I do like to hold on to all of my resources, even when it's just crap like cobblestone, because at some point in the future I'll be building some kind of big structure and wish that I had it all. And so I'm just going to dump off some excess stuff that isn't terribly important in a chest right here. Oh boy, creeper and skeleton. Can I get the record this time? If the skeleton would turn around, he's not gonna turn around. Silly guy. I think after I get two hits with the sharpness sword on the creeper, 
then one or two skeleton arrows might be able to earn me record in previous exploration and tactics series as part of my kind of little self-made completion monuments. Uh, I have had all the records as part of the things to get on the monument before. Um, this time around I do not... Oh, I'm running low on slabs. Uh, I guess since we have the ladders, I'm just going to switch to having other blocks in the bar for right now. But I just put a bunch of cobblestone away in a chest. And so, oh crap, there's another witch. I do not like you here. I'm going to spend arrows on you again. One, two, three. Nice. All right, and she dropped some bottles and some glowstone, it looks like. That could be my first glowstone. I haven't gone to the nether yet. No, that's not true. I did peek in the nether for like 10 seconds so that we could get the achievement. Um, but I haven't spent any time in the nether, shall we say. And I'm already going to have a health potion and now some glowstone, which is pretty cool. Let's go pick up these things. Yoink! All right. But I'm going to craft some more ladders and some more slabs. I hear a lot of skeletons right now. It could just be that they're random spawns, or it could be that somewhere above me... There's going to be a spawner. Oh, he's going to see me in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and close that up right there, since he can't get to me. And I'm going to put a torch at my feet, and I'm going to dig straight up. Oh, I just heard an Enderman teleport. I actually really want to fight. Okay, there's the Enderman. Can I get him over here? He's not going to see me. I'm going to run down there uh, and go after the Enderman really quick. Because I still don't have any Ender Pearls. Oh, crap. <laughs> you surprised me. Sadly, you did not drop pants. Someone else just jumped down. Let's deal with a couple of skeletons. And then let's deal with the Enderman. I am all hearted up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that with my sharpness sword, I can just go running at him like that. Awesome. Great. Sadly, he did not drop the thing that I was looking for. And now I'm going to try to dig back up where I just was uh, and see if there's another cave at a level above me and possibly a spawner. Okay, here's a skeleton and a spider. And so perhaps we're at a place that's going to connect to the presumed skeleton dungeon somewhere over here. I'm really worried because I've heard probably a dozen skeletons. So I'm really worried that I've spawned <laughs> a dozen skeletons. Um, and that they're all going to... Oh, hello. Crap. All going to sneak up on me at once. And there's a fair number of other monster sounds that I hear as well. And so I've got a pretty long tunnel there, and I'm pretty sure I'd hear a zombie conga line kind of coming at me. All right, this is a crazy spot. Let's do that. So I have steps kind of both ways. Uh, who is there? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I see what we're getting into here. It's possible that there's actually just a water stream that has trapped a bunch of guys. How many arrows do I have at this point? 17. I'm going to go ahead and try to get that skeleton. I'm worried that zombies are going to be coming at me from a different direction. Okay, he's down. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Ah, so many places. And, oh boy, if I get caught in the water stream, then I'll be fighting uphill against all the mobs that come at me. Uh, let me go up another level and try to clear out uh, this crazy area up here before, before I get my head into there. Okay, still kind of worried. Oh boy. About what's going to happen over here. Alright, I saw a skeleton behind me. Okay, that's where I was just lighting things up over there. Okay, great. Okay, I've got ladders to get back up here. Let's go ahead and take out this water source. Water sources are possibly even worse than steps as far as my mobility is concerned right now. Okay, who do I hear? There we go, it's you. Crap. All right, that's okay. Um, there go some of my steps and ladders. That looks more empty. I'm not too worried about what's happening over there. Still hear a ton of skeletons. That's where my previous ladder was. So let's leave that there. All 
All right, let's see if we can block off this water source over here. Something like this. It's still kind of coming out from the top. Oh, oh crap! Oh. He surprised me. <laughs> All right, there's still holes, obviously, above me that I haven't lit up. Now I hear a whole bunch of more mobs over there. Where are they? Okay, here's another cave. There's at least one of the skeletons that I've been hearing. Who is trying to pass by? No, he's lost. There's another skeleton. Where is he walking around to? Is there some way to get me? No. You were just lost. You don't know what you're doing, crazy skeleton. Yeah, come over here. You can see me now. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. All right, he's not going to be able to get me there. <laughs> I think he's the only enemy I hear right now. Let's definitely go ahead and heal up. It's going to take my time. It's no use in rushing. Nobody's sneaking up over here. No, I think we're okay. This is going to be fun because then I'm going to break this block and we're going to hear all the arrows go thump, 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 <laughs> uh, when they all fall at once. All right. There's no skeleton dungeon here. All right, let's listen to this. <laughs> Ah, uh, I got way too much amusement out of that. Okay, back to another spot where I hear like half a dozen skeletons. There they are, okay. So let's see, can you guys come in this hallway and then, yeah. Get bottlenecked by my sharpness sword. That would be great. Anybody else? Yep, there's another one. Did he see me? Yeah, there we go. That's right, come right here. Hey buddy, it's just me. There we go. Great. Alright, before I go to the left, let's take a quick peek here. Yes, because I suspected that was a dead end. Alright. And so, I hear a baby zombie. Which is always nerve-wracking. There he is, okay. Hey, buddy. Alright, you're probably not going to be good at pathfinding. Okay, you... Crap. Yikes, okay. Let's go ahead and shoot you. Haha. -ha. And how's my armor doing? Still okay. Ooh, got another bow. And things have gotten quieter. Are there skeletons over here? Yep, here's another skeleton. On the one hand, I feel like I've seen way more skeletons than is normal. And on the other hand, they've all been kind of spread out in different places, so that doesn't really speak to it being a skeleton dungeon anywhere. So maybe I've just been really unlucky and have just had a convention of skeletons all appearing at once for no good reason. Because now things seem relatively quiet again. I'm going to go back down to where I heard the most and see if I still hear them. I hear a slime and I hear some other mobs splashing around. I wonder if they'll quit splashing if I do that. Okay, there's the creeper. He was one of the splashers. And, okay, spider. You're the only guy coming at me right now. And did the creeper ever see me? I don't think he saw me yet. Let's see, if I get him to see me, then he'll probably pathfind me. That way I won't have to do any of the hard work. There's a step up, thank you. <laughs> the creeper killed the bat. Uh, I really like it when the creeper kills the bat, because I like the bat death sounds. <laughs> but sometimes people get unhappy uh, when I kill the bat, because they make a little sad, squeak, squeaky noise. Uh, and so people feel sad for the bat. Uh, but when it's the creeper's fault, then I can blame the creeper. But of course I just killed another bat right after that, so... Alright, well... I'm convinced now that it wasn't a skeleton dungeon, and I just happened to hear a bunch of skeletons that spawned in a bunch of places uh, in a relatively small area, um, which is kind of disappointing because I was kind of really hoping for the skeleton dungeon because that would be useful for a variety of reasons. Um, but in any case, we've lit up a bunch of the cave here. There are some good resources, including the diamonds. Uh, my inventories all fill up, and so I need to run back home and drop off some stuff. And we will come back with a fortune pick and grab the diamonds in any case. Sounds like the slime is somewhere down here on my way back. There he is. Hey, buddy. Whenever I see a slime uh, below ground... Ooh, slime ball. I would like that. Here's my little chest where I was dropping off extra cobble and whatnot. 
Uh, whenever I see a slime underground, I guess I had the inventory slot to pick it up. If I'd restack those, I like to put down a sign or put down some kind of marker to help remind me where I've seen him. Uh, and so this guy I saw right over here. I'm just going to put three torches on the wall because I don't have a sign. I don't feel like crafting one right now. Um, but uh, basically, if I can find multiple slime chunks together, eventually I want to make a slime farm. And so it's good to just kind of always note where you have seen slimes underground in the past. Uh, I'm going to fill up my inventory with things that will stack, and then we'll head back home. Back home, I will do some item repair. Do 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 do. Item repair. Do 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 do. Item repair. Do 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 do. Item repair. <laughs> that might be the last iron pick I have to use for a while. We will grab the fortune pick. I think I have yeah plenty of inventory space and the things that I need, we will head back down to the diamonds and also collect some other resources. And then with the extra diamonds, since I'm at level 30, we will come back and see if we can do another good level 30 enchant. All right, and for safety, we will, of course, put down some water just in case there happens to be lava. I don't hear any around here. But let's switch to our Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4 pick and see how many diamonds we are going to get out of this little vein. I see some more down there. And the answer is with five diamond ore, we end up with 13. Awesome. 13 diamonds. That is fantastic. I'm going to gather up some other inventory that we left behind and mine a few things out of the walls and meet you guys back at home. So just to show something off, this is one of the reasons that I don't just use normal fenced in pens. There's a cow here. There are no other cows anywhere in this region other than inside this pen, and the fence gate is closed. And so somehow that cow managed to glitch through the fence and get out. <laughs> and so that, I find, always happens. And so that's why I prefer to have pits or other kinds of things to keep the animals really penned in. Uh, but at this point, we've got plenty of cows. Uh, and so I'm going to kill a few more, mostly because I want to get enough experience to get to at least level 31. So that we can always try a couple of chants. If the first one doesn't work out, I can just enchant something at level 1. And then go after, oops, another enchant. Let me also pick up the cow's drops over here. Uh, but let's go try out a level 30 enchant. Back to the enchanting table. I have crafted up a diamond sword and a diamond pick. And so let's see if either of them have anything good. Unbreaking 3, that is not super great. Fire Aspect 2 is also not super great. If I just put one level into this, Knockback 1 is also not super great. Let me find something to enchant with a level 1. Actually, I have a bunch of extra leather now. I should make a book, and we can enchant. I should at least have a book. I should leave a container of books next to the enchanting table, so that if we have level 30 enchants, we can always try that, because like getting a book with Silk Touch or something could be really useful. So I will leave a chest of books here that we can always use for trying out enchants, but let's see. At level 30 on a book. Ooh, Fortune 3. That's not a bad book. Um, hmm. But I think what I'm going to do is just spend one level getting another power one bow. Or unbreaking one. Hmm, that's pretty poor as well. And I'll go ahead and do it. Just unbreaking one. And then see if we get a new set of enchants for these guys. Smite 4. That would be useful against the Wither, but the Wither's still a long way off. And Unbreaking 3 is still not very good. And on the book, now Protection 3, which is not awful. Yeah, even though I don't think I'm going to be using it anytime soon, let's go ahead and make a Smite 4 Diamond Sword. Smite 4! Sadly, that was the only thing on it. Oh well, I was hoping to maybe get lucky and get looting or something like that. Um, but there we go. Wow, I just went and looked through my footage, and it looks like we have a longer episode today, but that's good. I always enjoy caving and fighting lots of monsters. We got the librarian achievement. We still never found a dungeon, and so we still haven't managed to get a saddle. I'm fairly certain that this one right here, Diamonds to You, that we can earn that achievement, even in single player, by throwing a diamond at a zombie who's capable of picking up items. And so hopefully we'll be able to get that now that we have some more spare diamonds. But this is where I will leave things off for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft Exploration and Tactics Space Bard. Bye-bye.